everyone, Paul from International Scale Modeler. Welcome to another review. Today I've got a review of the Zuron uh, Photo Etch and Plastic Sprue Cutters. Um, seen these around for a long time, seen people recommend them an awful lot over the years. Uh, I'm a Tamiya tool man through and through. Most of my tools you can see in there, including these sprue cutters. Um, I love Tamiya tools. I've had these particular cutters for three, four years now. Absolutely love them. And I think they're going to be hard to beat, but got these for review from Martin at air-craft.net. Um, been using them now for about two weeks exclusively. I've not touched the Tamiya ones to give them a fair go. And to say I'm impressed, uh, I am. I'm absolutely impressed by them. Um, so like I say, I use the Tamiya ones as the plastic ones. And again, for the photo etch, I used a small Tamiya photo etch scissors, which is a brilliant tool again. Um, a little bit of information on the back before we get through. The information is identical on the back of each one, so I'm not going to read all. It runs through the manufacturer about the MicroShear trademark name to the lifetime warranty, um, which is all there. So what I'll do, we'll run through it as usual. I'll stop it on certain parts. If you want to read it, pause it, have a look through, and then you can read it at your own, your own speed to your heart's content. And it saves me having to sit here. We're reading it all out. So there you go. So what we'll do, we'll start off the photo of shears, so move those out of the way. Tractor packaging, blister packing, um, protective piece of tubing on each cutter so they're not going to poke through the plastic and stab you. Uh, a little bit of information on the front, designed by scale modellers, by a scale modeller, recommended photo etch parts only. And the code of these is 9180ET. Now the RRP on these is £24.98, so it's not a cheap tool, but with a lifetime warranty. You should have a tool for life there. And I've been using these, not these as much. I've only done a little bit of photo etch over the past few weeks. The other one's absolutely superb. So these yet to be proven, but I'm going to show you them cut a bit of photo etch now. Like I say, I have been using these. I've packed them up literally just to show you how they came packaged. But we've got a bit of photo etch. We've got a large sheet there, and we've got a smaller sheet there as well. So, like I say, protective tubing on, because these are rather sharp. Um, they're a nice big tool. This is one thing, these scissors, are very dainty compared to this. I have hands like shovels, as you can see, so a little dainty tools for me. It can be a bit of a pain. The same with the cutters, you can see the size difference. Um, so to have a bit of a larger tool, pardon the expression, um, is a definite you know improvement. As you can see, look on the closer camera, they are nice and sharp, um, very very well made, and the spring is quite strong. It's a little bit stronger than I probably would have liked. Um, it's a good exercise for your hands. But they are razor sharp, I'm not even going to bother touching them. And they've been working very well. So, as usual, photo etch, normally very tight on the uh, the frets themselves. And you can struggle getting it off. Now, quite a lot of time I use uh, one of the small shop tools, uh, photo etch cutters, which is a bit of perspex with this on top. And you cut it off a hobby knife. Uh, that can be a bit laborious and... Uh, it gets a bit tiresome after a while, so being able to cut them off cleanly with a bit of photo etch um, cutters is very good. Now, if you've seen that, it goes through the photo etch like a hot knife through butter. Oh, I can get you on the close up. There we go. Make sure I keep you in shot. It's a case of easing it through. I've gone the wrong way. Easing it through till you're happy. Give it a snip. And away you go. And there's the part. Cut off cleanly. And then what I normally do then, you have a come back in with the cutters and just trim the edge up or use a diamond file which is probably the better way but there you go there's a small part cut off one side cleanly the other side needs to clean it up more but nice and easy there no problem cutting off that small part um, if we try cutting through a larger bit so a slightly bigger fret so obviously these aren't photo edge parts this is just a fret you see I can do this literally two fingered no problem at all barely any pressure needed very very high quality tool and it makes short short work of that photo etch so like I say not the cheapest tool but I'm a big believer in you pay for what you get um, and for that you can get a tool that's going to last you a long long time you can see how easy that's going through that the Tamiya photo etch ones are okay but like I say I mean the size of them to me they're like a little Tiny sewing scissors. They are good, they do work, but these are a lot better in my opinion. And again, you get a slightly bigger part, so if you've got a huge fret, it's just so easy to cut through. Real fine controls, you can get nice thin cuts. Real good control. You can see that I'm going to get stabbed by these now. 
We've got some nice shards of photo etch. So like I said, the quality is there, the precision's there. If you go for some of these, we've got some uh, AFU, AFU, AFV tank crew um, headset uh, photo etch for figures. And again, if we just pick a bottom one, pop it in, make sure you're in shot. Snip. Now this is nickel steel or steel PE, so it's a lot thicker. And again, you can see gone through it, there's no deformation to the PE part for it being cut, focus, come on so even the thicker steel PE is no bother for this and again nice close up trim to perfection, so there you go so there's the photo etch ones, um, very very good, like I say I've not used these as much as the plastic ones just purely because it hasn't dictated the use but when I have used them they've proved absolutely faultless and have performed really well so these are highly recommended if you're after a new set of photo etch uh, cutters or you haven't got any and a lot of people use scissors and the like these things are specifically made for it very very well made and like I say it's a nice big tool which is what I like because I do have uh, quite ha big hands uh, as such. So there you go, there's the photo etch ones. Next up is the um, professional sprue cutters. Again, same information on the back, so I'm not going to go through all that again. Um, same protective packaging, basically the same information, just the different cutters on there, and that's it. So again, protective tubing on. Now, these are a lot softer sprung than the photo etch ones. Now, whether that's because I've been using them, I don't know, but I don't remember these being as strong. So these are a bit easier on the hand. Again, Nice, good handful of tool. <laughs> That's a terrible expression. Um, but you can see there the size difference in the Tamiya. Not quite as big as the photo etch ones. Well, it's exactly the same size, actually. I don't know what I'm going on about. Um, but you can see the size difference there. So you do get a bit more of a handful for your money. Again, terrible expression. Who uh, <laughs> uh, misses. But I've been using these extensively. Um, I've been a busy boy this month in my build. As you'll see when we get to my build update and the new show. Um, I have been prolifically building this month and these have had a lot of use. As you can see, the wear marks there where they've been prolifically used over the last month. Very, very sharp, very, very positive. Nice sharp point, which is always important when dealing with plastic because you need to be able to get right in there. Uh, if we go for the likes of this figure, if I just, what we'll do, here we go. Cut through big sprues, no drama whatsoever. I'm just going to do this for ease so I can show you guys. So there we go, we cut through the actual sprue itself, no drama at all, really easy. As you can see, barely any pressure needed, and away you go. Nice clean cuts, barely deforms the plastic at all. As you can see, it's a nice straight cut. If I remember right, my Tamiya's do have, from time to time, yep, and there you go, there's the difference. So there's two cuts, this is the Zurons, that's the Tamiya, if you see the way the Tamiyas have pinched the plastic before they cut them, whereas the Zurons haven't, they've gone cleanly through in one go. So while these are great, um, they're nowhere near as good as the Zuron, I'm sorry, I know a few people have bought them on my back, those Tamiya ones are very good, at the end of the day you're not going to be going really close to your sprue with these, uh, your part with these anyway, but if I cut this now, I'll do it the same way, we should get a nice clean cut, and we do. So you can see straight cut, it's not perfectly straight because I don't have an angle, but you can see the difference between a pinching and actually cutting them clean. So that's the difference, that's the first thing I noticed. But like I say, when you're coming in to cut parts off, you're not going right up to the part, you're keeping away from it so you can sand it down. With these though, I would be a little bit more confident to go a little bit closer and just trim that part off, and as you can see, other than a tiny little bobble of plastic on his head, which I put money on, I could trim that actually closer. Should I keep you in shot? There you go. So as you can see, trimmed right up to his head. Bit of a sander on there, bit of a UMP. Um, sand a couple of seconds with the sander, the polisher, and the buffer. And there you go. Absolutely perfect. You wouldn't even know there was a sprue on there, and that's the difference. That is what you're paying for on these tools. The RLP on this tool is, I'm just going to have a look, is £22.99. So again, not a cheap tool. I think this one's about £12, but for me, the difference in quality is, is just, it's obvious, it's there. So like I say, you can get right in. If we go to this guy's legs, you can see there, it's very, very tight in there. If we angle the, the cutter accordingly, 
they pop right in, get that out of the way. And again, you're left with just two, two little cut-off points in there. So again, nice clean cut. And like I say, normally I'll keep it well away from the actual plastic itself, uh, the part I'm using itself. But with these, I am confident that it's going to cut cleanly. If we go to a flat part, a part of a flat base like this, I'm going to go right up to the base of the plastic. It's closing as tight as I can. So there you go, just those little wisps of plastic. So I can have the confidence to go right in and maybe even trim it. Just a little bit closer. And that will cut down on your clean up and we're nearly cleanly off there. Absolutely perfect and there's no deformation whatsoever. So for me, um, these things are highly recommended. I mean, they're not cheap, they're 22, 23 pounds or 25 pounds essentially. Uh, but lifetime guarantee on them both, which is a great, great thing to get with any tool nowadays. Normally lifetime guarantee in the UK, I think it's 10 years is a lifetime guarantee in the UK. I'm sure after that period, if you sent it back to the USA, they would, well, hopefully, I'd hope they'd honour that lifetime guarantee. But I know any products in the UK given a lifetime guarantee, it's 10 years. Um, so there you go, so highly recommended if you're interested in them. Like I say, the, the photo edge scissors, the code's 9180ET, and they're £24.95 from aircraft.net. And the sprue cutters are 2175ET and they are £22.99 from air-craft.net. So if you're looking for a pair, pop over. Martin's a fantastic guy. I sing his praises all the time, as a lot of you members do as well. Flawless service and nice to see a lot of people around the world using them as well. So there you go. Excellent tools. These will be replacing my Tamiya's. They will now be sitting in there with the rest of my Tamiya tools for uh, forevermore. Um, and You'll see them in builds, you'll see how I get on with them over the next few months. Um, but for the last two weeks, well and truly impressed. There you go. So a couple of zero on cutters there. Hope you like that review. Uh, like I say, if you want to go and buy a pair, I would highly recommend them without a shadow of a doubt. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the forum.